Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today is day 13 of the 30 day sunrise yoga challenge for beginners. We have already explored so many different ways that we can benefit from yoga, and we've learned quite a few poses. Today is a review. We're going to step back a little bit and step forward because we're going to play with sun salutation. Technically, if you're doing the challenge in real time, today is October 13th, 2024, and it is a Sunday. And I love doing sun salutations on Sunday. People like to acknowledge beginnings with sun salutations, and it's very common. You can find a yoga studio near you that will do the 360 sun salutations to herald to bring in the new year um, because that is the sun salutation is always about beginnings and bringing things in and this is Sunday and if you're not doing this in real time you're experiencing the energy of Sunday right here right now and that is what we're going to do today we're going to break it down pose by pose so quick reminder as always what are you committed to? Remember your re remember your commitment and recommit to it so that it's fresh and can guide you through your practice for this short snack of a session and throughout your day. Okay, let's get started. Let's ground into our body. I will often say to my dog, it's time to meditate. And he will perk up and he'll come and he'll sit in a specific place. And I, I think he's starting to find his place. Um, in these little practices as well. So when I say it, he always moves. Okay. Think about where you want to put your hands. Are they both facing up? Are they both facing down? Are they facing their innate strengths? The left hand receiving, facing up. The right hand giving, facing down. Where are you today? What do you need or what do you want to release? Or do you want to just be? Think about your recommitment slash commitment. Think about what day one felt like. Now you're at day 13. If there's a word that comes into your head, Let it come out. Let your commitment, let your word, let an image of someone you love or whatever comes up, let it come out if it feels good and let it swirl around you. If it doesn't feel good, let it come out. And I like to acknowledge the things that don't feel good as they release by wrapping them in a beautiful sky blue uh, packet the beautiful hot pink ribbon and it grows wings and it flies away and I thank it. (laughs) The cold is still there, but it's on its way out. Okay, let's get started. We're of course going to begin with the five Tibetan rituals. The sun salutations are what are traditionally used when we do yoga and when we're starting, but Since we're doing these snacks, we need to get warm relatively quickly, and we don't have the time to really dig into the sun citations because you do about five on each side. Um, Then these work really well, and these are also things you can do anytime, anywhere. They take about two minutes. Okay, so we're going to start with the spin. Just making sure I have enough room. Don't won't hit anything. Shoulders down, chin. <clears throat> chin is parallel to the ground and eyes are the gaze of the eyes is to the ground as well let's begin one two three four five Let the spin catch you. 
Mm. Emma. <clears throat> so my gaze is forward, my fingertips are pointing towards my towards the ground, my shoulders are down, my elbows are yearning to be together, so they're pulling towards each other. And remember my weight is in, I'm pushing away from the ground with the tops of my feet and my knees. <laughs> Here we go. Inhale. Next, we have tabletop. You know that the five Tibetan rituals are also referred to as the fountain of youth. We are de-aging ourselves, although I think most of us don't need to. <laughs> okay, here we go. Shoulders are taking that same uh, stance. They are tucked towards the heart. The elbows are also wanting to be near each other and that's gonna keep the eyes of the elbows facing forward. Our feet are flat on the ground. Make sure you give yourself enough width for your seat to move through the arms when it comes up and back. And let's begin pushing you into the ground using the protective grip for our wrists. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Four. Okay. Next. Oh, I skipped J. I absolutely skipped J. Let's do J right now. Yeah. Okay, lastly, out of order, we have upward to downward facing dog, which we will spend a lot of time with today. Protective grip, protective grip. Eyes of the elbow facing forward, bending them towards each other will help square those shoulders and keep that protective positioning for all of the joints in the upper body through the hands up to the shoulder tips. Okay, remember there are three versions of all of this, of the five Tibetan rituals. So make sure to do the right one. If you need to know which versions to do, go to the first video and we, you will get a breakdown there of which one to do or how to do them. Okay, so inhale. One more for good measure. Yeah. Letting the rituals land. Mm. Some salutations are typically used in vinyasa, but they're also used in hatha to warm up and then they are. And then in vinyasa, you'll keep moving with the breath. In hatha, you won't. So this is a reminder that we're gonna be moving with the breath and the ujjayi breathing, and we are gonna do a class, it's coming up, about breath. Um, I like to have the poses first and then bring in the breath only because that was how I learned. And um, 
I like to share my actual experience rather than my theoretical experience. So we're going to work on breath in a while, but ujjayi breath is one that you hear me talk about often. That is where you make the ocean in your throat. So it goes. <clears throat> and now that my cold's getting a little bit better. <clears throat> have you can actually hear it yesterday it was like <laughs> but now it's it's opening up so let's try to take let's try to put that ocean breath in our throats right now here we go inhaling ellie's expanding root chakra is expanding exhale ellie is constricting root chakra is constricting one more do you feel warmer a side effect of breathing in and out through your nose with such uh, powerful breaths is that because the breath has nowhere to because it can't it has to move so quickly so fast it actually uh, creates heat, generates heat. So if it's ever a cold day, do some ujjayi breathing. Here we go. We're going to first review sun A. But I have to sneeze. <laughs> ah. We're first going to review sun A. Sun A starts in Tadasana. We ground through, through the feet, through the ground, a, a, receiving that lifting the earth is doing for us from below and both arms come up on either side and we do a small back bend hands are together hands can be apart and we're going to root down and lift up and back that's your inhale then we're going to swan dive or through prayer exhale bringing the head towards the feet this is called uttanasana and remember, you can always bend your knees to make sure that your hands are flat on the ground, or you can bring the ground to you with blocks or bolsters. You bend over to Uttanasana. Then we're going to push to a flat back, pushing our hands against our shins to Arda Uttanasana. That's our inhale. Then we're going to exhale back to Uttanasana. <coughs> Then we're going to put two hands on the ground. This is our exhale. Oh, we're gonna put two hands on the ground. This is our exhale right here. And then as we move to plank, this is our inhale. Exhale is gonna to go to chaturanga or you can take knees, chest, chin. If you're doing chaturanga, you're simply going to do a press like a push up. So you are here and you're gonna press the body so that you are hovering over the ground and there's your chaturanga. If you're doing knees, chest, chin, you're in plank and you're going to knees. There's your press again. Press to chest and chin. So knees, chest, chin. And then everybody's going to push through to upward facing dog or cobra. So if you're going to cobra, you're going to go here, and cobra's happening in the back, which means that you're going to push into the ground with your tops of your feet, and your hands should be able to float off. That's cobra. And if you're going up to upward facing dog, you're going to push all the way up to where we were before. Tips of the toes facing the front, the short side of the mat. We're going to push back from cobra or upward facing dog to downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog. So let me review with the breath. You were in plank. Inhale to get to plank. Because that's an expansion. And we move to chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. That's an exhale. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, stretching the front side body forward. And getting ready to jump to the front of the mat and you can walk <laughs> or you can jump 
you're here, when you're gonna jump between your feet, try to make it in one movement or walk. That's your exhale. Inhale, flat back. Arjuna Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana. Remember bending the legs as much as you need so that your body is resting, your belly, your chest are resting on your thighs, pushing down to come up. Two, slight back bend. And hands come to prayer and to either side of the body, Tanasana, Tadasana. And that was Sun A. Now we're going to make the adjustments. Okay. So there are only two adjustments we're going to make. So we start at Tadasana. Instead of rooting to rise and coming up to back bend, we're actually going to do chair pose. We have not done chair yet. So I'm going to break down chair for you. Chair pose is literally going to be like you're sitting in a chair. So you will bend your legs. And I think for chair, you can do it with the feet together. You can do the feet hip width apart. I think it's a little harder to do it with the feet together, but feel everybody's body's different. So do what works for you. Um, you're going to bend the knees. And as you're bending the seat, is going to, have you ever sat in a chair? If you sit in a chair, your butt reaches for the seat. Your body and your the front, all of this stays forward and your butt reaches back to sit. And that's the same thing. When you're going for chair, your butt is reaching back. And then you make a little tuck because there isn't something that you're gonna sit on. So you have to be your own chair, okay? So your butt's reaching back and then it get, does a little tuck, just a little tuck, and your hands are, brushing the ground so they're going to brush the ground and as your body <clears throat> as your hands come up your body is going to keep reaching out with that little tuck and the arms are going to reach up 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 and then you're going to solve this you're going to look like a chair <laughs> and the two arms are going to stay overhead or they can come together with a steeple grip and the farther back you reach, the lower you can sit. The you reach, the lower you can sit. And what we really want, though, is we want to match the upper body. The upper body's reaching to the lower body's reaching. So that essentially you end up in this, like, beautiful kind of, like, folded up pose. But that's chair. Okay? So the knees bend. The seat reaches back. There's a slight tuck to the tail. The shoulders stay down. The fingertips brush against the earth, getting that little bit of energy as they come up. Gaze is to the ground, forward, through the hands. Grip is steeple or open. And that is chair. Okay, that's the only new pose that you need. So we're going to be adding chair and we're going to be adding warrior one. And you follow me? Let's do it. Let's do sun salutation B, Surya Namaskar B. So, starting at Tadasana, two arms come up overhead, slight back bend, bend forward, Uttanasana. Bend your feet, I mean, bend your legs, brush against the ground, chair, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana, head towards the feet. Bending the legs so that the body stays on the legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Let's inhale to plank. Protective grip on the hands. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. I'll do knees, chest, chin this time. Knees, chest. Mm. Inhale, I'll take the beginner's level. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to call it beginners. I'm just going to say the um, lighter level. I'm going to inhale, cobra. Exhale, upward facing dog. I mean, inhale, yeah, downward facing dog. Here's where a change is going to happen. We're going to inhale, pushing into our 
are three points of contact. So our two hands with the protective grip and our left foot are going to push against the ground. Our right heel is gonna to raise towards the sky. Always thinking about the eyes of the elbow facing the front of the mat for correct placement. My hips are gonna to square to the ground. This is my inhale. I'm gonna bring my knee through. I'm going to place my foot between my two hands for warrior one. Warrior one is going to have a shorter stance. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm tenting my fingers so that I can still be close to the ground, but be able to sit up a little bit. And I'm going to square my hips to the ground. I'm going to tap my foot forward and I'm going to keep that angled position for my right, my left foot. So it's not knife's edge like warrior two. It's slightly turned in just a little bit, but not, not turned in all the way because that would be Anjane Asana. This is warrior one, and I'm gonna square my hips, and I'm gonna make sure they're square by putting my hands on my hips. I'm gonna push into the front leg to get that 90 degree angle or to work towards it. And then I'm going to push in to that front foot, push into the left side of the left foot to get that grounding, and two arms are gonna come up. This feels really short, so I'm gonna walk my right foot forward a little bit. And now we're in warrior one. In warrior one, the two hands can come overhead. I mean, can come to steeple grip, or you can leave the hands open. The gaze is front or through the hands. This is warrior one. This is your inhale. Exhale, bring both hands down and step the left foot, the, the left, the right foot back. And you're gonna pivot the left foot. You're gonna step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, pushing into two hands and the right foot, the left foot comes to the sky. Exhale, the knee comes through and it follows its line down the center of the body. And you place the left foot between the two hands and you're going to pivot the right foot and prepare for warrior one. Tap it up a little bit, hands on the hips to square the hips towards the short side of the mat, bringing the body up with a flat back, pushing into the right blade, the right side of the right foot and pushing strongly into that left foot and especially into that left knee so that you can move towards a right angle with the left leg where it bends at the knee. And that's gonna give you the stability of this pose. Two arms come up overhead, shoulders pinned towards the ground. Gaze between the hands. If you have steeple grip, you can take it. That's your inhale. Exhale, two hands down. Place the left foot to meet the right foot. Push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, prepare to move to the front of the mat. Exhale, jump or walk to the front of the mat. <laughs> Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rooting to rise. Two hands come up overhead. Exhale, prayer, samasidihi. Inhale, padasana. And now you've done sun B, Surya Namaskar B. So let's do a few rounds with the time we have. I'm going to go for five. We're going to match breath to movement, and I will tell you which one I'm doing each time. So I'm going to do the beginners this time, then I'll do the intermediate. Let's say light regular, and more. Those will be our levels. And I will tell you which one I'm doing when I do it. This time, we're going to start with light. Okay, pushing two hands, pushing down to come up. Inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. 
But remember, do it on your level. So if your level is different, then do that. That's your exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes to the sky. Exhale, warrior one. Oh, excuse me. Inhale, right foot comes to the sky. Exhale, knee comes through to move to warrior one. Inhale, hip square, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel to the sky. Exhale, through to warrior one. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, prepare to move to the front of the mat. Exhale, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Asana. Inhale, Arjutanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, down to come up. Exhale, Vamasudihi. Inhale, Tadasana. Medium, normal. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale. Inhale, two arms come to the sky. And exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardu Tanasana. Exhale, walking back to plank. It, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, walking back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot to the sky. Hip square, hip stay square. Exhale, step through, warrior one. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Exhale, comes through. So prep, warrior one. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, prepare to jump to the front of the mat. Exhale, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, Urdhva. Uttanasana, I mean Uttanasana. And arms come up overhead. Tadasana. Let's go for the um, next level, the sort of, I forget what I called it, more. Inhale, two arms come up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Facing dog. Inhale. <clears throat> right foot comes to the sky. Exhale through. Step through. Warrior one. Inhale. Warrior one. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Left foot comes to the sky. Exhale. Step through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, prepare to jump to the front of the mat or walk. Exhale. Inhale, Arda Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, two arms come up on overhead. Exhale, Tamasidihi. Inhale, Tadasana. Inhale. Oh, I have not been doing chair. Hello, this is Sun B. My apologies. We're going to do Sun B at the more level, do, including every part of it. Inhale, bring the seat back and come up to chair. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. 
Utanasana. Inhale. This time I'm going to jump back to Chaturanga. You can also step back and do any of the other mod modifications we discussed. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel to the sky. Exhale, knee moves. So the back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot, left heel to the sky, hips square to the ground. And exhale, knee comes through, step back, pivot right foot, pushing into those two feet to make that twist in the hips. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, prepare to jump to the front of the mat or walk. Exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Inhale, push down to come up. Exhale, Samasiddhi. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, final round. Chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward to Tanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Jump or walk back to plank or go through to chaturanga. Exhale, chaturanga if you're walking back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel comes to the sky. Exhale, step through. Prepare for warrior one. Inhale, pushing into those places that are touching the earth. Warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel to the sky. Exhale, step through, prepare. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, prepare to go to the front of the mat. Exhale. So to the front of the mat. That's actually your handstand preparation. So you, you can jump with a lot of energy. If you ground into your hands, you won't fall. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring it all up. Slight back bend. Exhale, Samasudihi. Inhale, Tadasana. Mm -hmm. So. You have now greeted the sun to begin your day. Or if you're doing this in the middle of the day, you've reset your day. Sun salutation is always the marking the end and the new beginning with a nod, with a bias towards the beginning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is day 13. A lot of feelings might come up. Maybe you'll even have some frustrations that are starting to bubble up to the surface. Start to notice things. Maybe you have less tolerance for what you once didn't even realize bothered you. Um, there are so many great things. The aggravations and the creations are all part of the same thing. They're all ways that you're going to find and allow your wholeness to assert itself and to confidently show up. So on that lovely note, thank you so much for you showing up. This is your 13th day and you have completed it. I'm wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace. Namaste. Mm.